All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting here in my home away from home. Just want to let you guys know something. I'm going to start mixing it up a little bit more. We're going to be starting to talk about politics. This is a hot topic as of late, considering what's going on with our, uh, I guess, our freedom of speech being taken away from us with the, uh, the eyes of YouTube because they don't like an opposing view. They didn't have a problem with you know, Russian collusion that was unproven for many years and Adam Schiff sitting there saying that he uh, he had absolute, uh, you know, uh, 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 evidence that uh, there was Russian collusion that they could never produce, but nobody ever had any problem with putting that out there, talking about that. But sure as, I'll get out if you say something about, I don't know, voter fraud or election fraud, well, they're going to they're gonna take that video down because they don't approve of that. They don't, it's not, it doesn't fit their narrative or their agenda. So we're going to be talking about politics. I'm going to go after some things. We're still going to be doing uh, firearm reviews, scope reviews, all kinds of cool stuff. And we're going to be talking about, uh, a lot about Second Amendment. And speaking of Second Amendment, there's a lady out there in Texas who was newly elected. Her name is Terry Metza, M-E-Z-A. And she has already pre-released a new bill kind of affecting the castle doctrine. Now, one of the things is a lot of people were talking about um, there, she's taking away the castle doctrine. Well, she's not necessarily taking it away, but what she's doing is she's putting limitations on it. And a lot of the other states are already experiencing this. In my state of North Carolina, if somebody crosses my threshold, well, you better be able to prove that they meant to do you harm or they're there to murder you or steal your goods. In North Carolina, if you're sitting on your motorcycle and your place of business or anything else like that, that is your castle and you should be entitled to defend it as you see fit. Okay, as you see fit. I can't tell you what to do. I only know what I can do or what I would do. And I'm pretty much on board with what everybody else is. You come into my home and you plan to do uh, take my goods that I've worked my ass off for, or you uh, plan to do harm to my family, I'm probably, well, let's just say this. I'm not going to make any threats right now because this is not what you do on video, right? But anyway, she put out a tweet, Terry Metz, and, and people are really scared that she's removing the castle doctrine. She's taking her castle doctrine away. What she's doing is almost worse. I mean, you'd be better off not having a castle doctrine than what she's trying to do right now. In a tweet, she wrote, and I quote, my bill, House Bill 196, in my position on the Texas castle doctrine, has been misrepresented in the news as of late. It does not repeal the Castle Doctrine and it does not restrict homeowners from using firearms in self-defense as applicable in current Texas stand your ground laws. What my bill would do if passed would require a homeowner to exhaust the potential of safely retreating into the habitation before using deadly force in defense of themselves or their property. I filed this bill because the Castle Doctrine is it, as it currently exists, emboldens people to take justice into their own hands. While theft is obviously wrong, we have laws to address that. I don't believe that stealing someone's lawn ornament should be an offense punishable by death. Well, what she doesn't understand is the Castle Doctrine does not cover lawn ornaments. You know, can't sit out in your front yard and start shooting people. They got to be inside your dwelling, according to my state law. What this does, it is endangers the homeowner more because if someone in fact does come across your threshold, they do mean to do you harm in the middle of the night and anything else like that. You have to prove, you have the liability. You have the need to demonstrate and prove most likely in a court of law, that you did everything you could to retreat. With all that cowering into the back, as a man, I want to protect my family. And guys, that's all there is to it. Now, there, the bill, I'll attach the, the actual uh, link so you can read the bill yourself. Uh, but in any case, when you have to prove that you did everything that you could do to retreat before you did this, because her intention is that uh, no one deserves the death penalty for coming in. Uh, your goods are covered by insurance. This is the kind of thing that the, the Antifa guys are talking about. Well, why won't you let us destroy your property? It's covered by insurance. Come on, we want to destroy it. We want to burn it down. Speaking of which, you see any riots going on right now? Illustrating our uh, disappointment in the election? Nah, because the majority of us are all out trying to earn a living, you know, feed our families, not living in mom and daddy's basement. Anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. 
What, is, what do you think the dangers are of this bill being implemented with a duty to retreat is basically what it's called. We're gonna be doing a lot more videos like this. I'm getting ready to have some fun. Uh, the shooting world, we're still gonna be doing it, man. I've got the 6.5 Creed more build that we're getting ready to do. I owe it to a lot of people out there to get this thing done. A lot of people are interested in it. I can't wait to actually illustrate the Apollo Radical uh, as well as the GLX scope that we're gonna put on there with a 20 MOA mount so that we can show you how to use the reticle and then turn around and show you how to uh, use the turrets on it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's Boy 32 if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already done so, support the red, white, and blue. God bless America, God bless those men, women in uniform, 24 seven for our freedom. This freedom is not freedom. I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who are out there to support our constitution and our bill of rights as it was intended, not interpreted now, but as it was intended by our founding fathers, because that's really damn important. Go to Boy32. I'm out. Y'all be good.